the ball. Start out with the ball. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Durant is the four, with Claxton playing the five. Irving is out there with Mills, and it's Curry in at the three. Nice speed from Lonzo Ball to the wide open man. He has a good eye for those openings. Here's Durant. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here's Ball. He averages a bit over six points a game. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Now, Irving. He takes it in. And the layup's good off the glass. Cutting to the rim with force. Once Kyrie sees an opening, he seizes it. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific defense, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. Outside Irving. Over Levine. Flaxed in the pass to Katie. Shoots over to Rosen. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. To the middle. And DeRozan throws it down. Up in his playmaking skills, when Levine notices an open teammate, he whips the pass over. This is it to Claxton. Back to Curry. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Nicholas That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Ball. Book it off the crossover. Ball's got his second basket of the game. Oh, my goodness. Five straight coming out of the gate. So for the Bulls, the last game, a win against Cleveland. On the wing, Irving. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. It remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but winning can heal all, and you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. Now, here's MP. He had 15 points last out. The turnaround jumper. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist on the night. That's trailed by four. Outside Durant. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. And the Nets miss again. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road having to manufacture points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And here is Durant following Lonzo Ball's three. Stolen by Levine. In transition, here come the Bulls. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist by Levine. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now, here is Irving. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. We also got to mention what he did on the defensive end. Racked up a number of steals, too. So Chicago. Great job of finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. Ball and Levine are the guard set. Vucevic is out there at the road. 
and at Santos and at the small forward position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. And he comes up with the deuce. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Curry passes to Irving. Takes a three. Curry can't get it to go. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Feeds it to Vucevic. And it goes down. Two points. Nice pass. Defensive foul. Nicholas had a three-point shot First to his arsenal. Arsenal. This is a shot he did have early on in his career. But GA, as the game has continued to evolve, so has Vucevic. Recognizing bigs like him have to be able to stretch the floor. Now, here is Irving. Six points for him, and the basket is good. A masterful finisher. The closer Kyrie is to the bucket, the more dangerous he becomes. Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And even down big, the effort and energy is still there to try and make a comeback. Now here's Durant after the miss from Santos. Here's Claxton. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for Kevin Durant. Going work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Curry. Now here's Mills. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Lamb passes to Claxton. And here's Mills from the arc. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. Now, here's MP after Jeremy Lansman's. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? It's way more common now. And, and let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Here's Warren after the made shot from Santos. A shot's good from Claxton. Claxton's got eight points. Here's Warren. Out to KD. Pass to Irving. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Warren dishes to Irving. And again, it's the Nets missing. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. They've got Curry. Durant is out there with T.J. Warren. Then there's Irving. And it's Mills in at the one. KD against DeRozan. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Second chance effort. No good on the shot. And Chicago will go the other way with it. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. The drive by MP. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Coming under the floor. But you also need to keep it under control. So for the Nets, Sharps checked in for TJ Ward. Morris comes in for Kevin Durant. And O'Neal subbed in for Patty Mill. Curry finds Irving. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. 
So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hand. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Now, here is O'Neal. Curry kicks to O'Neal. No good on the three. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bull. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And the shot goes in. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bulls. The differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and also helped to get some more guys involved in the offense. One kill ball. Second personal foul. Williams passes to Dragic. He's looking for MP and finds him. And out of bounds is the Nets game possession. Now into the lineup for the Nets. In for Irving. Nicholas Claxton. Brooklyn with the ball. And here is Curry. 26 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Let's it go from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. MP, no good. Here's Curry. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big... The Bulls, 83, the Nets. Yo, Yo MP, man. What's going on, fam? Just want to thank you for sharing that song, bro. You went above and beyond. Nah, man, I believe in the song, man. So I'm happy to help get it to more people. Well, it didn't go unnoticed, bro. Anytime you need to record, you need a studio space, you got a home right here. For real? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, my boy was good. good. Good, bro. How you feeling? Good, man. You ready? Yep. Hey, you gonna see something tonight, man. That's how you feel? Yeah. Let's get it. I'm gonna catch you. All right, bet. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a mid-season lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's MP in a small forward. Now here's MP. Back to ball. Picked by Vucevic. Here's Levine for three. And James Harden pulls it down. To the middle. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and he excels at finding teammates. Vucevic, a screen on Harris. Here's Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. That's on Joel Embiid. 
You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Harden against DeRozan. On the wing, MP. Beyond the arc. No good on the shot. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. There was just no sense of urgency to hit the offensive glass. They have to be disappointed in the lack of second chance points. Yeah, I agree. Hard to win games when every offensive possession is one shot then a jog back the other way to play defense. Here's Ball. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. And the shot goes in. Ball showing us a nice little mid-range game with his height and touch. He's got great confidence with the in-between game. Now here's Maxi. 14 points for him last game against Indiana. Now let's not forget about the assist. His playmaking was critical for this team. When you're wide open like that, no need to fade away. Pass to MP. Down low. Oh, stolen by Harris. And now the Sixers on the break. And it's Maxi missing. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Here's DeRozan. And too long on the shot. The 76ers have gone two of six to open up this game. Three-pointer, Harden. And another miss by Philadelphia. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. Here's Harris. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. For Chicago, they've gone one of five to start things off. DeRozan finds Ball. Now here's MP, hounded by Harris. MP, no good. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Harden. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. You know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26th. And you look good out there. Good looks, good looks. see you around. Hi, man. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.